Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Format Cells dialog box in Excel to control all aspects of cell formatting for the currently selected cells in your worksheet. The Format Cells dialog box has six tabs that allow you to change cell properties. The sixth tab, Protection, is related to worksheet security and has no bearing on cell formatting. The other five tabs in this dialog box that do control cell formatting are Number, Alignment, Font, Border, and Fill. To apply formatting using this dialog box, first select the cell or cell range to which you want to apply formatting. Then click the Format button in the Cells button group on the Home tab in the ribbon. Select the Format Cells command from the Buttons drop-down menu to display the Format Cells dialog box. Within this dialog box, you then select the tab that contains the formatting aspects that you want to apply. Change any settings that you need to within each tab, and then click the OK button to close this dialog box and apply all of your settings to the selected cell or cell range. Now we will review what formatting options are available within each tab in the Format Cells dialog box. You can click the Number tab to set the formatting for number display in the selected cells. You can click on the names of the different types of formatting in the list at the left side of this tab to view a description of the format and examples of the format to the right. This can also be used to remove an unwanted number formatting. To do this, first select the cells from which you want to remove the number formatting. Then select the General Number Format from the list on this tab to set the display of numbers in the selected cells back to their default, which is General. As always, click the OK button when you're done making your formatting changes to apply your formatting to the selected cells. On the Alignment tab, you can set both the horizontal and vertical alignment of cell contents, set cell content indentation, rotate cell contents, and either select or deselect the checkboxes in the text control section to shrink the text to fit in the cell, merge the selected cells together, or wrap text to fit within a cell. One very useful thing that this tab allows you to do is unmerge a merged cell within your worksheet. If you want to do this, first select the merged cell that you want to unmerge within the worksheet. Next, open the Format Cells dialog box and select the Alignment tab. The checkbox for Merge Cells will be checked. Click it to remove the check mark and unmerge the cells when you next click the OK button. Also on the Alignment tab, you have the ability to change the text direction. Some languages like English and other European languages print from left to right. Other languages like Hebrew and Arabic print from right to left. You can change the order of the letters in the text box cells here for the language that you're using. It's not really a frequently used function, but it is located in this tab if you ever need it. In the Font tab, you can set all font display options. You can set the desired font face to use for the cell's display by selecting the desired font to use from the font list. Select the desired font style to apply to the selected cells from the font style list. Use the size list to set the font size. You can select a style of underlining from the underline drop-down. Use the color drop-down to set the font color. In the effects section, check or uncheck any of the three special effects, strike through, superscript, or subscript. There is a preview window that lets you preview the font that you have created before applying it. In the Border tab, you can set printed border display options for your selected cells. You can start by clicking on a line style in the line section to select a line style. Then click the color drop down below that to set the color of the border lines. To determine where the selected line will be applied, click the desired border button that surround the preview of the cell border shown in the border section. If you just want to apply one of the preset borders that are available, you can click the None, outline or inside buttons that are available in the presets section to apply a preset cell border instead. Note that you can select the none choice to remove all cell borders from the selected cells. On the fill tab you can set the fill color, fill effects, or fill pattern for any selected cells. To do this simply pick the fill color that you would like to apply from the available palette shown in the background color section 
to apply the selected fill color to the selected cells. Note that if you need a more specific color, you can click the More Colors button to open the Colors dialog box. In the Colors dialog box, you can create almost any color you desire. This dialog box is available in almost all of the places where you can choose a color. You can either click the Standard tab and then select one of the colors shown in the Honeycomb of Color Choices, or you can click the Custom tab and then select the color you want. If you opened the color dialog box to select a color, then click the OK button once you have made a choice to return to the Format Cells dialog box. If you want, you can now apply a simple two-color gradient as the fill effect for your selected cells. To do this, just click the Fill Effects button to open the Fill Effects dialog box and display the gradient tab. Use the Color 1 and Color 2 drop-down color pickers to select the two colors to use for your gradient. In the Shading Style section, choose a direction for the gradient. Then, depending upon your selection made in the Shading Style section, choose the specific variant of that style you want to use from the choices shown in the Variants section. Once you have made your choices, click the OK button at the bottom of the Fill Effects dialog box to return to the Fill tab in the Format Cells dialog box. If you want to apply a pattern to your selected cells, Use the Pattern Color drop-down to select the pattern color that you want to use, and then select the Pattern Style to use from the Pattern Style drop-down. Be aware that applying a pattern to a cell that has content within it will make the cell's contents almost impossible to read when printed. When you have set all of the desired formatting that you want to apply to your selected cells in all of the tabs in the Format Cells dialog box, just click the OK button to apply all of your changes to the selected cells in your worksheet. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.